Good evening. Thank you for joining us for evening prayer. Our service will begin on page 41 of the Book of Common Prayer. A link is found in the description below if you need it. Please join us by reading the text in bold. Jesus spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Dearly beloved, the scriptures teach us to acknowledge our many sins and offenses, not concealing them from our Heavenly Father, but confessing them with humble and obedient hearts, that we may obtain forgiveness by His infinite goodness and mercy. We ought at all times humbly to acknowledge our sins before Almighty God, but especially when we come together in His presence, to give thanks for the great benefits we have received at His hands, to declare His most worthy praise, to hear His holy word, and to ask for ourselves and on behalf of others those things which are necessary for our life and our salvation, Therefore, draw near with me to the throne of heavenly grace. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore all those who are penitent, according to your promises declared to all people, in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Grant to your faithful people, merciful Lord, pardon and peace, that we may be cleansed from all our sins and serve you with a quiet mind. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. O gladsome light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and, and to, to be glorified, glorified through all the worlds. Our psalm is Psalm 69 on page 354, 1 to 15. Save me, O God, for the waters have come up even to my neck. I sink down in the deep mire where there is no ground. I have come into deep waters, so that the floods run over me. I am weary of crying, my throat is dry, my sight fails me from waiting so long for my God. Those who hate me without a cause are more than the hairs of my head. 
Those who are my enemies and would destroy me wrongfully are mighty. They bid me restore things I never took. O oh God, you know my foolishness, and my faults are not hidden from you. Let not those who trust in you, O Lord God of hosts, be ashamed because of me. Let not those who seek you be confounded through me, O God of Israel. Surely for your sake have I suffered reproach. Shame has covered my face. I have become a stranger to my brethren, unknown to my mother's children, because zeal for your house has consumed me, and the reproaches of those who reproached you have fallen upon me. I wept and humbled myself with fasting, but that was turned to my reproach. I put on sackcloth also, and I became a byword among them. Those who sit in the gates speak against me, and the drunkards make songs about me. But Lord, I make my prayer to you in an acceptable time. Hear me, O God, in the multitude of your mercy, even in the truth of your salvation. Take me out of the mire, lest I sink. O oh, let me be delivered from those who hate me, and out of the deep waters. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our first reading is from the prophecy of Jeremiah, chapter 20, starting in the 7th verse. O oh Lord, you have deceived me, and I was deceived. You are stronger than I, and you have prevailed. I have become a laughingstock all the day. Everyone mocks me. For whenever I speak, I cry out. I shout, Violence and destruction! For the word of the Lord has become for me a reproach and derision all day long. If I say I will not mention him, or speak any more in his name, there is in my heart, as it were, a burning fire shut up in my bones, and I am weary with holding it in, and I cannot. For I hear many whispering, Terror is on every side. Denounce him! Let us denounce him! Say all my close friends, watching for my fall. Perhaps he will be deceived. Then we can overcome him and take our revenge on him. But the Lord is with me as a dread warrior. Therefore my persecutors will stumble. They will not overcome me. They will be greatly shamed, for they will not succeed. Their eternal dishonor will never be forgotten. O Lord God of hosts, who test the righteous, who sees the heart and the mind, let me see your vengeance upon them, for to you have I committed my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has delivered the life of the needy from the hand of evildoers. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our first canticle is on page 85. Surely it is God who saves me. Surely it is God who saves me. I will trust in him and not be afraid. For the Lord is my stronghold and my sure defense, and he will be my savior. Therefore you shall draw water with rejoicing from the springs of salvation. And on that day you shall say, Give thanks to the Lord, and call upon his name. Make his deeds known among the peoples. See that they remember that his name is exalted. Sing the praises of the Lord, for he has done great things, and this is known in all the world. Cry aloud, inhabitants of Zion. Ring out your joy, for the Great One in the midst of you is the Holy One of Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our second reading begins from the letter to the Romans, starting in the second half of verse 15. For if many died through one man's trespass, much more have the grace of God and the free gift by the grace of that one man, Jesus Christ, abounded for many. 
And the free gift is not like the result of that one man's sin. For the judgment following one tre trespass brought condemnation, but the free gift following many trespasses brought justification. For if, because of one man's trespass, death reigned through that one man, much more will those who receive the abundance of grace and the free gift of righteousness reign in life through the one man, Jesus Christ. Therefore, as one trespass led to condemnation for all men, so one act of righteousness leads to justification and life for all men. For as by the one man's disobedience the many were made sinners, so by the one man's obedience the many will be made righteous. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Our second canticle is on page 86, God be merciful. May, May God, God be, be merciful, merciful unto us and bless us and show us the light of his countenance and be merciful to us. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Indeed, let all the peoples praise you. O let the nations rejoice and be glad, for you shall judge the peoples righteously and govern the nations upon earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Then shall the earth bring forth her increase, and God, even our own God, shall give us his blessing. God shall bless us, and all the ends of the world shall fear him. Our next reading is Matthew 10, 16 to 33. Behold, I am sending you out as sheep in the midst of wolves. So be wise as serpents and innocent as doves. Beware of men, for they will deliver you over to courts and flog you in their synagogues. And you will be dragged before governors and kings for my sake to bear witness before them and the Gentiles. When they deliver you over, do not be anxious how you are to speak or what you are to say, for what you are to say will be given to you in that hour. For it is not you who speak, but the Spirit of your Father speaking through you. Brother will deliver brother over to death, and the father his child. And children will rise against parents and have them put to death, and you will be hated by all for my name's sake. But the one who endures to the end will be saved. When they persecute you in one town, flee to the next. For truly I say to you, you will not have gone through all the towns of Israel before the Son of Man comes. A disciple is not above his teacher, nor a servant above his master. It is, not, it, is, it is enough for the disciple to be like his teacher and the servant like his master. If they have called the master of the house Bezobal, how much more will they malign those of his household? So have no fear of them, for nothing is covered that will not be revealed, or hidden that will not be known. What I tell you in the dark, say in the light, and what you hear whispered, proclaim on the housetops, and do not fear those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather fear him, who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Are not two sparrows sold for a penny, and not one of them will fall to the ground apart from your father. But even the hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear not, therefore, you are more value than many sparrows. So everyone who acknowledges acknowledges me before men, I will also acknowledge before my Father who is in heaven. 
but whoever denies me before men, I also will deny before my Father who is in heaven. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. The Apostles' Creed is found on page 46. I believe, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show your mercy upon us, and grant us your salvation. O Lord, guide those who govern us, and lead us in the way of justice and truth. Clothe your ministers with righteousness, and let, and let your, your people sing with joy. O Lord, save your people, and, and bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, and, and defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and, and take, take not your, your Holy Spirit, Spirit from, from us. O God, the source of all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works, give to your servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and that we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ our Savior, Amen. Amen. O God, you manifest in your servants the signs of your presence. Since send forth upon us the spirit of love, that in companionship with one another, your abounding grace may increase among us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our ongoing prayers are for Debbie, Heather, Lori, Aurelia, Hannah, Miriam, Jerry, Ron, Jason and Angie, Carol, Kirsten, Tiana, John and Gladys, Ruth, Debbie, Heather, Edward, Robert, Rose, Emily, Jonathan, Josiah, Thomas, Mike, Kay, Baxter, Irene, Frank, Suzanne, Keba, Sarah, Linda, Dean, Minion, Noel, George, and residents of Brookdale, Oswego Springs, and those you would name. Lord, 
you know our hearts and you know our needs and we are so grateful for your being in our lives to hear your word and to do as you have given us the work you have given us to do. Help us we pray in your son Jesus name. Amen. Amen. The General Thanksgiving on page 51. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you, and you have promised your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will grant their request. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions, as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen.